uh, all right friends so let's start with the output characteristics of a pnp transistor in common emitter mode all right so we are going to uh, study it with the help of an example and we are going to study what's the role of this battery here in changing these currents here in the ic what is output characteristic by the way output characteristic is a um, uh, relationship between the current output current and the output voltage it means how on changing the output voltage the output current varies so it's output voltage versus output current that's it now what is output voltage uh, the output voltage is considered as this the voltage across the emitter and the collector so that's the output voltage and what is the output current this is the output current so how on changing this uh, voltage here this current gets changed that is what is output characteristics so let's start <coughs> now uh, obviously you may remember that this vcc is the battery which is kept here to keep this pn junction uh, this is the collector base pn junction this is the base this is collector this is emitter <coughs> wait <coughs> Uh, we know that uh, in this uh, PNP transistor to keep the emitter base forward bias so emitter should be at high potential as compared to base that means P should be at high potential as compared to N so along this the potential will decrease and then again to uh, make this base collector PN junction reverse biased reverse bias means N should be at high potential P should be at low potential so again as we go from N to P the potential should decrease so overall there should be a decrease from here to here from emitter to base uh, that decrease in voltage is considered as VEB and then there should be a further decrease in voltage across base collector which we can call it as VBC and the total decrease in the entire voltage as we go from emitter to collector that is called VEC okay so there should be a decrease from here to here obviously in a circuit if you are going from here to here there is a uh, decrease then there should be an increase here in other words we can say that as we go from collector to emitter potential must increase so as we go from so irrespective of the path as we go from collector to emitter via this or we go via this the voltage should increase now we know that this current flowing ic tends to decrease the voltage from here to here because uh, current in the resistor flows from high potential to low potential so thereby uh, creating a decrease in potential so this vcc is kept to compensate for this decrease and so that overall there is increase in voltage okay now we move from here to here there should be an increase in voltage and there should be an increase in voltage here so total increase in voltage is this vce or vec and this total increase in voltage from here to here is well there is a decrease first so this is minus icrc potential decrease and then there is an inc increase of vcc increase of vcc so total overall changes vcc minus icrc and that is what is called as vec and this vec is consisting of these two potentials now this roughly uh, as we discuss uh, always remains in the range of 0.7 so this can be written as 0.7 plus vbc okay i guess we have uh, already discussed all these things uh, previously also so there is nothing new here now we are considering that the base collector uh, pn junction is reverse biased okay so what we have taken is a battery of emf 1 volt uh, rb an external resistor into this input circuit this is vcc this is rc and uh, let's say the battery emf is 1 volt and this is so this is the load line according to this uh, whatever is this volt what, what is this uh, load line by the way we load line is equal to v equal to uh, e minus ir so this is 10 uh, sorry this is 1 volt minus i into r r is 330 kilo and so this is 1 volt volt this is volt unit and this is the voltage V across the PN junction base emitter. So this is the load line which I have drawn and this is the input characteristics here and let's say this to intersect at a point such that the uh, voltage across this is <coughs> 0.7 uh, 
and 10 micro ampere current is flowing so it also satisfies the equation of the straight line as you can see that uh, <coughs> if we put here 1 and if we put here 0 0.7 then i comes out to be equal to 10 micro ampere uh, anyway if the total emf of the battery is 1 volt and the voltage across this is uh, 0 0.7 volt then out of the total voltage uh, emf of the battery 1 volt 0.7 is dropped across the uh, base emitter pn so remaining 0.3 will drop across the 30 kilo ohm so that is what i have written here so 1 minus 0 0.7 0 0.3 and so if the voltage across this uh, resistor is 0 0.3 and the resistance is this which i have converted into ohms we get the current to be this one so this is around 10 microampere now ic as uh, you might remember that uh, ic is equal to beta ib and let's say for this transistor a special transistor that we have taken this beta is uh, equal to uh, 100 so ic being beta ib is equal to this which is 1 milliampere now as we go from here to here let's check how much is the total change in potential so we have taken this rc as 1 kilo ohm so vce or vec from here to here total potential change is vcc minus icrc which is 2 minus this if we substitute the value of the IC, this one, and the RC, this one, uh, we get 1 volt. That means the total voltage across this VCE is equal to 1 volt, which means 0 0.7 volt is decreasing from here to here. And as we go from here to here, there is a decrease of 0.3 volt. As we go from N side to P side, there is a decrease of 0.3 volt, which means that N side is at high potential, P side is at low potential, which means that this base collector PN junction uh, is a reverse biased according to our assumption in this kind of a uh, situation here with these kind of parameters okay <clears throat> now comes an important point uh, i hope you are able to see this let me just remove this okay Now, we are trying to understand what is the effect of increasing this battery EMF from 2 volt to here 3 volt. Well, uh, we are not changing this EMF and we are not changing this uh, battery, uh, this resistance also. So, this load line remains as it is and when this load line remains as it is and obviously the base emitter PN junction uh, characteristics uh, is like this. So, this is not changing and um, uh, this low line is also not changing so their intersection point will also not change and if their intersection point is not changing that means the IB current will not change anyway what does this IB current depends on IB current depends on how many holes are able to diffuse from here to here and how many holes are able to diffuse from here to here depends on how much is the barrier width decrease here and the barrier width decrease here in this base emitter pin junction depends on how much is this voltage and not uh, on this voltage okay so this is directly connected with the help of this resistor and with this this vbe this vbe is fixed here so one thing is for sure that when we increase this battery emf this battery with this vcc from 2 volt to 3 volt this ib will not change and this ib will not change that means the same number of holes holes whatever able were able to diffuse previously from here to here the same number of holes are going to diffuse from here to here so same holes are going here and whatever holes were able to diffuse from emitter to collector they are again uh, collected by the reverse bias pn junction now as we know those uh, holes will be attracted though so same holes will be reaching the collector thereby constituting the same collector current and uh, because we know that the collector current depends on the uh, base current and for a transistor this beta remains fixed irrespective of this uh, vcc here okay now we know that the base current won't change the collector current won't change now what is the total voltage across em uh, emitter and collector as we go from here to here the same icrc we get but a higher vcc so if we try to calculate now the vce here which is vcc minus icrc so previously it was 2 but now it is uh, 3 
so 3 minus icrc ic and rc both remaining same so now the entire voltage is around 2 volt so how is this total potential drop of 2 volt utilized or dropped so out of 2 volt we know that 0.7 volt will drop across this why always 0.7 because irrespective of whatever current flows through the base this voltage always remains same around 0.7 only so the out of the total voltage of here 2 volt uh, 0.7 is dropped across emitter to base and so the remaining 1.3 will be dropped from base to collector so as we go from n side to p side we are going to low potential because of reverse biasing now what is the effect of this uh, reverse biasing here on the currents further currents so as this gets more and more reverse biased uh, the tendency to attract those holes coming from here to here from emitter to uh, collector uh, it is having more tendency to collect those uh, holes but then how many holes are diffusing from this side to this side uh, depends only on this and this side is kept constant here isn't it so anyway previously also whatever holes were able to come from emitter to collector uh, it was collecting them without repelling them it was attracting and sending them like this now also it is doing the same thing so this reverse biasing of this base collector pn junction doesn't do much also uh, this uh, base collector pn junction is reverse biased and we know that uh, no matter how much we increase the reverse voltage uh, nothing happens to the reverse current because reverse current saturates very fast so anyway the most of the 99.99 percent of the color collector current is because of the uh, holes which are diffusing from this emitter to the collector which are anyway attracted by the uh, electric field of the uh, electric field which is induced because of the potential difference here uh, as we know that the potential difference uh, so this is b is at high potential c is at low potential so electric field will be like this which means as this vcc is increased from 2 volt to 3 volt this voltage which was previously here as you can see uh, 0.3 level now it has increased to 1.3 level doesn't change anything whatsoever what if we make it 4 volt well again nothing happens why because this width doesn't change the width of the depletion region and the uh, uh, barrier height doesn't change it is governed by this and this is governed by what this is governed by this input characteristics we know that the base emitter input characteristic is not changing this load line is not changing because this load line depends again on the this battery and the this resistor load line doesn't change the input characteristics doesn't change ib remains same as ib remains same IC also because IC depends on uh, beta IB. What this uh, battery does it creates an electric field here and decreases the barrier width so that the holes are able to diffuse. How much holes are diffusing from here to here depends on how much is the decrease in the barrier height which in turn decrease only on this. Okay. So now this uh, as we go from here to here how much is the uh, change in potential which is VCE or VEC whatever you call it it is VCC minus IC RC. Now VCC now is 4 volt and uh, so this 4 minus the same uh, this 2 so now it instead of 2 it will be 3 so this is 3 volt now out of this 3 volt as we know this 0.7 will be dropped across this and 2.3 will be dropped across this so again uh, this is increasing uh, the reverse biasing but reverse biasing again will just uh, it will attract those holes coming from the emitter and it can't do anything of its own so uh, higher and higher reverse biasing of base emitter p injection doesn't do anything new uh, doesn't change anything ic is not affected by vce so here we are increasing this v vce previously it was one volt then it became two volt and then it became three volt and this vce is not at all able to change the ic ic depends on iv here so we say that if you draw a graph of ic versus vce or vec then it remains almost a horizontal line because we get exactly the same value of IC for different different values of VCE. But why have I left this region? Why? 